Welcome to Gastromania. Today's episode is a special dedication for Teachers Day. In Singapore, Teachers Day is celebrated on the first Friday of September. The Gastromania team would like to take the chance to present a recipe in the form of a skit and wish all teachers Happy Teachers Day. These are the timestamps for the video in the description. You may jump to the recipe if you are not keen on the storyline. Hiya, nephew, why are you so upset sitting here alone? It's close to Teachers Day, but I can't go back like normal years because of COVID-19. It feels empty because I've been going back every year to visit my teachers. I see. Don't be too upset. You can visit them when the pandemic is over. Hiya, you don't understand lah. Hiya, nephew Lee is really sad over not being able to see his teachers. Such a pity because they have contributed so much to his growth. Without them, he wouldn't have such a good future. Maybe I could do something to help out nephew. Let me go look for Google. Hiya, why all the suggestion is about baking cookie? Uncle Lee really got no idea how to make them. You ask me cook any Chinese dish, no problem. But you ask Asian uncle about baking. Asian uncle really no idea. Uncle Lee is scared of baking because you cannot use filling and eyeball the ingredients. One small mistake and the bake belongs to the dustbin. Me no like waste food. Maybe I should call my baker friend for help. Hey Uncle Lee, long time no chat. So popular these days, no time to call me. Yeah, thanks to all these niece and nephew supporting me on YouTube. Anyway, I wanted to ask the master baker how to make chocolate chip cookie. You ask Uncle Lee to cook Chinese food, no problem. But ask Uncle Lee to bake, I got no clue. Oh, okay, okay. I send you the recipe. Okay, cannot be too sweet cause nephew Lee gonna give it to his teachers. Cannot be too sweet, otherwise diabetes. Sure, this one edited recipe. Contents are less sweet, but definitely still yummy. Really? Did you create it yourself? Kinda. This is my go-to cookie recipe. I've made it thousands of times, and I modify a bit every single time. Wow, that is very impressive. Can I change out half chocolate chip for some walnut for crunch? Yeah, of course. You like more chocolate? Add more chocolate chips. Like more walnuts? Add more walnuts. You can even add stuff like hazelnuts, M&Ms, or even Oreos. Just aga aga one. Can I eyeball for other ingredients? No! If you use feelings, it's gonna end up as failure. Okay, I gotta go. Otherwise, cannot make it for Teacher's Day. Wish me luck with the oven. Bye bye Okay, I got the recipe. I share with all niece and nephew. Pause the video if you want to check it out. Hiya, it's so detailed measurement. Uncle Lee want to kill myself. Maybe it's my chance to butcher white people recipe like they kill our egg fly lice. Okay. Time to prove that Asian uncle also can bake cookies. Firstly, we prepare 210 grams of plain flour. Don't use other kinds as protein percentage is different. Add 4 grams kosher salt. Using fine salt is fine but just reduce the amount as it's more salty. Add 4 gram baking soda. When added to dough, baking soda releases carbon dioxide which helps leaven the dough creating a soft and fluffy cookie. Mix them well. Next, we need 170 grams of butter. Split it into one third and two third parts. We're gonna melt the larger part and brown it a bit. Seems like baking also a bit like yin and yang. Next, we have 130 gram dark brown sugar and 30 gram granulated sugar. This one really look like yin and yang. Remind me of Asian culture. Uncle Lee approve. Next, we have one large egg and two egg yolk. To get egg yolk, you need another bowl. Crack the egg on the rim, then peel off the smaller part slowly. Pour the large into the small part and catch the egg yolk. If your egg is as fresh as Uncle Lee's one, the egg yolk will not break so easily. Look at it, bounce back and forth. Okay, I show you again. Crack open the egg. Then peel slowly, catch the egg yolk, go back and forth a few times, then done. Easy, Chinese cooking skill also transferable here. Lastly, we have toppings, 130 gram chocolate chip and 70 gram walnuts. This sound really like yin and- Shut up lah, how many times you want to recycle the joke? 
don't need to chop the walnut too finely, otherwise there's no crunch in the cookie. You can vary them according to your preference or change to other topping. Cookies are the most versatile thing since egg fly lies. Okay, that's all to the ingredient. We start cooking. First, we need to melt the butter. If it's your first time like Uncle Lee, use lower fire. Keep stirring the butter and scrap the bottom occasionally to prevent chao da. Officially, Uncle Lee friends say heat for 4 minutes, but Uncle Lee say use your eyeball. Watch out for the big bubbles to form. About 10 seconds after they form, the butter will turn a bit brown and that's when you're off the fire. Take the brown butter and transfer to big metal bowl. Let it cool down for 1 minute. Add the remaining butter when it has cooled down. Test with one small paste first and make sure no seasoning happen. If ok, you add the rest in, in small pieces. Mix them and let them melt. Ok, the butter has melted, time to add the sugars. Slap the metal plate so all the sugars drop into the bowl. Asians don't like to waste any ingredients. Use this equipment to mix them up. Hi our producer, while you buy this, Uncle Lee can just use chopstick. Asian people can use chopstick to make anything. Once you mix them up until there is no large clump, add in the egg. Then, beat them up like how your parents beat you for getting B in exam. So if you write A for Asian, B for Bijan. Your aim is to reach your smooth consistency like this. Mix them well, then add a powder mixture. Add the powder mixture through the sift. It is not Asian efficient to do this, but it makes the powder more fine and no clumps, so that your cookie don't have large pieces of flour. Actually, you're supposed to add vanilla extract here, but Uncle Lee makes up the order. But chen chai la. Use a clean spoon to press the remaining pieces through the sieve. Real Asian cannot waste any flour powder. You should have flour that look like snow powder like that. Use the rubber spatula to mix them and then fold the powder into the mixture. According to online, you need to mix it up like that. I don't know why so specific. Asian uncle don't approve. After that, add in 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. <laughs> Hmm, why is this thing? It smells so nice. I can feel it already. The smell is so strong. This is like MSG for baking. Uncle Lee approved. Mix everything well and evenly. Then add your preferred topping. This one got so much topping, it looked like famous Jamers on steroids. Nephew teacher get it definitely very happy. Once all the ingredients are mixed evenly, you can start shaping the cookie. Before that, you need to preheat the oven to 190 degrees Celsius. Take out baking tray and line with parchment paper. This thing is like adding cold oil to hot wok, it makes it non-stick. Next, we are gonna shape the cookie into a ball. Uncle Lee gonna use his special equipment coffee teaspoon. Uncle Lee has been making coffee with this for 40 years. Scoop the cookie dough out, don't be so greedy. Keep it within 1 teaspoon size. Let me show you some transferable skill from Chinese cooking to baking. Hiya, Uncle Lee gonna use the fishbowl making skill to make cookie ball. This is the fastest way to get the most circular dough. Zoom zoom. Before you put it into the oven, you need some QC. Make sure that the cookie ball that you just made are spherical. Use your teaspoons to adjust. Try to make sure that every ball is about the same size, more aesthetic. After this, it's time to go to the oven. According to my friend's recipe, it's 190 degrees for 8 minutes. But in my opinion, observe the cookie occasionally. Especially if you're a newbie like Uncle Lee, better be gassy. Otherwise, your cookie gonna end up like that. Boo! Boo! No such thing called oven hay, only got wok hay. If you smell oven hay, means your cookie fucked up. Once you're comfortable with the baking, Uncle Lee gonna teach you another hack. We Asian love efficiency, so you can continue shaping the dough on more parchment paper around the same length as the previous piece. When the current batch of cookies are done, you can just shift them around by grabbing the parchment paper and swap them around. Now you have a processing line like a sweatshop. Let the big cookie cool down for at least 20 minutes. Don't worry if they are soft in the center at first, they will crispen once the temperature drops. We got no time to waste. Let's make cookie like Chinese sweatshop. I got three more batches of cookies to make. Two hours later. Well, finally done with all the baking. 
If you do it properly, the cookie will come out like that. Thumbs up, man! It's time to do some packing. Cut some circular non-stick paper and put it at the bottom of the bottle. This piece of paper seems way too big, need to cut smaller. Uncle Lee teach you some hack for this. Fold the paper halfway three times. Then, you only need to cut a very short distance. Compare it to the bottle and eyeball how much to cut. Ha! Efficiency! Line them up and add the cookie. Six down, five more to go. Don't you think the cookie bottle looks very boring? Let's upgrade it with some sticker. Check out my production line. Uncle Lee very fast at this. Okay, it's time to take Nephew Lee's post-it notes on his store-bought gifts and stick it on the cookie bottles. Perfect! Finally done with all the cookies. Time to reply some YouTube comments before I sleep. The next morning. Hey Nephew, I got a surprise for you. Hmm? What thing? Ta-da! Whoa, Uncle Lee, you made all this overnight. Yeah man, Uncle Lee can do anything. Wow, thanks. Let's deliver the gifts before the celebrations end. Let me go get changed. One minute, 37 seconds later. No, 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 no. You need to wear something with color. You need to wear more presentable. Show respects to the elders. A few moments later. Let's go. So nephew, why do you always go back on Teacher's Day? Well, that's because I feel gratitude. I think they have contributed a lot to get me to where I am today. Wow, which teacher is your favorite? Hey, you can't ask questions like that. They are all important. Everyone contributed differently to my growth in different ways. Sorry, sorry. Are you Ayo, this young man, them culture. Learn the good Chinese value of Everyone watching this video, please go wish your teachers happy Teacher's Day and show some appreciation today. This is the end of today's episode. Hit like if you love Uncle Lee. Uncle Lee cannot be around all the time because I'm working. But if this video hit 10,000 likes, I will be back. Till next time. Bye bye.